All right, I think we're ready. <laughs> it took a while, but I think we're ready to do this battle. We have this squad, which is going to do this battle, and then this squad, which is going to do this battle. It's going to have the skeleton replacing the infested. We're going to make the boss go insane if that can even happen. And then we have just a, a good set of units who can either block, heal, or buff. The skeleton can buff the protection of the bride in the back, and these two units can just heal themselves. I like it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. To battle! Yes. I could bring along a consumable, but I don't think we'll I don't think we'll need it. We have a couple of good units. You know, two units who can heal them well, three units who can heal themselves. And I actually the um the bone golem can heal himself and or buff other units by giving them block or ward, so that should be enough. Now what we do need to do is knock out the protection of the scout in the back. We could always just use a AoE crit in order to do it, as long as the damn peer does not do her stance. Then we can just do a lot of physical damage. You also can make an enemy lose all blocks. We really should have had the ghoul in that first position because then we could have uh, definitely knocked out a block, all blocks from the Dampir. But you know what? We're just going to have you wait. So we have better options for everyone else. Immune to something. The crit, maybe? <laughs> oh, you're just immune to damage on turn one. I forgot about this. Gives you a, it's a very nice ability. Thank you, Hero's Blood. So, Duder, Duder, Deuteronomy. You could try to stun all the minions, but I don't think it's going to work on the ones who have protection. I think we're just going to wait one more turn with you, just so we have an opportunity to get this crit and knock out the blocks on two of these units. I could use a spell, but if we save our mana for this. You stunned him and you made, you try to stun him. Now we can Reign of Gore that scout in the back and then hopefully take him out in like one hit, which would be just ideal because you're very annoying in the back line. We also do need to kill this bard. So, start chopping up this bard. You know what I need to do? And I haven't done this, but I haven't done this in like in a bit, but I need to freaking turn the volume up Turn the music volume up. You can't really hear the music, can you? There you go. A little bit better. Right. Bound Hades gets one action, then the Bone Golem, then Bound Hades again. We want to hit the Bard, and then we want to remove all blocks from the Dampir. It'll just make him easier to hit in the future. Although, we could maybe just kill the Scout. All right, you know what? I've done it. We're killing the scout. She can't do her her like 200% damage attack from Mark, which is always annoying. And we don't need to worry about the mutilation anymore from Doot Doot because uh, well, there's nothing nothing really to mutilate, huh? <laughs> no one else can really stance. Actually, no, Dampier can stance, so there is a reason to do that. I think we should either buff someone or attack. We can still do a decent amount of damage. The Bard has no protections. We need to kill him uh, relatively quickly, and a crit will do it. Lighting them on fire mm, isn't going to do it, except a crit would do it. A crit from this would do it. Oh, you know what? You have ward. Never mind. One by one, okay. life Excellent. vanishes from this world. <laughs> I hate your ability, because you try to stun people. Are we going to heal? I think that is not necessary. We're just going to go for the Barbarian. And we'll knock out the armor with the Ghoul as soon as the Ghoul has an action. We're going to have them wait, though, because I want to keep my uh, Dark Knight in the front, who is able to actually hit this Barbarian. Now, the barbar Barbarian does have just like a F-ton of armor, but we can burn through that. So I'm just gonna burn through that. It's only gonna take like three hits to kill him with the burning. You did nothing, thank you very much. 
You don't have any armor, but you can just uh, repair that effectively, which is decent. You also have taken no damage, dude, friend, so I don't really know what you do. Um, you actually can't even debuff anyone. So... I mean, you could stun them. Possibly. You can't even stun her because of her armor protection, her block. Uh, you should not blow up. Maybe you should just buff people because you're not really doing anything else on this turn. So why don't you just start buffing? Even before Abe ends up with another Dampier. They're not insane, so that can't happen. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be able to happen. My kingdom comes. So we're just going to have you buff and remove your debuff. Get you your armor back. It's very nice that, of that ability to exist. Admittedly. And you're going to kill a barbarian. Uh, one attack from our archer will do it, so now we just have to worry about the Dampier. We could have, and in fact, we probably should have just used the ghoul to knock out the block of, of the, uh, the Dampier. But you know what? Two attacks is not that, it's not that hard to do. Sweet. So there's only one unit, and they're not insane, which means we can kill them. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in a stance. Oh, you're in a stance. Oh, if only I could. Wait, this is my ghoul's turn. You pass. You pass. You pass. Hey. How did you? I guess it was just a big hit. Oh, you know what? Um, I also have an ability that if I have 75 wrath at the beginning of turn, everyone heals a little bit. So everyone is getting a little bit of healing just due to that ability, which is pretty nice. Okay, block removed. Give me a lunge. Debuff. This is all armor and resistance. Hey, it, it actually worked for once. <laughs> it's completely unnecessary, but it worked. You're just gonna buff mana. I wanna have full for the next combat, even though I think at this point we do have full for the next combat. Still gonna do it anyways. You're gonna move back. Extinction of life. Crit. And everyone's healing up. And this was a pretty easy fight. Not really that much going wrong. Our doot doot friend can interrupt stances. Let's go. Except he missed, which meant that the counterattack worked. Wait a minute. Well, I mean, I. It makes sense. It does make sense. I hate it, but it does make sense. You should just walk up a little bit. Okay. 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 Wait. Mm -hmm, wait. I could do it again, or I could just wait. I'm gonna wait on you. Alright, you have a free turn. You shot my bone golem. It made him lose two resistance points. Lovely. Doesn't matter, because it's gonna kill you? I wish I could wait for the bone golem to, like, self-heal, but we're not bringing him for the next mission. He can take a, t take a turn off. Suffering ends, we got a bard token. We got another acid gland, so if I ever do want to remove... Oh, and we got a purple ectoplasm. Let's go. If we ever do want to remove that from the ghoul, we can always put it back, because we have another one. A backup! Excellent, excellent. So now we have... The skeleton in the front line of this party, and we are basically just gonna do the boss fight like this. We're gonna try to make the boss go insane. If it works, great. If it doesn't, whatever. We are going to really quickly swap out spirit chainmail. It's a boss fight after all. Let's have it plus four armor and plus four resistance. No. Features. All enemies lose 18 accuracy. That seems better. And instead of increasing everyone's evasion, what I'm gonna put here is a ring gain wrath or start with full wrath it's tempting i think i'm gonna have oh that goes there no 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 no. yeah these go there um gain 24 at the beginning of battle yes yes that seems decent and we're also going to use a consumable why not Whenever a minion dies, hopefully that does not happen. At the start of combat, all enemies pass a sanity check. That doesn't guarantee insanity, that just guarantees a dice roll for if they're gonna go insane. All enemies gain 15 health until the battle ends. Rattus gains six common parts. We should use this like on the next floor at some point. The first spell used in combat will cost zero mana. Very good, because then we can just get, get a whole bunch of uh, 
you know, cheap damage in early. The problem is if the enemies have protection, because that spell isn't going to do anything, is it? Karatas receives plus 30 spell power. Also pretty good. Each round, recover 30 wrath. We can really abuse our wrath abilities. Unfortunately, we don't really have too many people who can get very good use out of them. Admittedly, these attacks from the Dampir are really good. Not the most damage, but removing armor and resistance from enemies is nice. You can eat people. Is your only use for your wrath. Although, if we can buff up the ghoul, like if this boss fight summons minions, oh, that'll be great. And you are going to make people go insane, but we already know that. Now, the crit is nice. It's a guaranteed hit. Well, it's not actually a guaranteed hit. It's a guaranteed crit. Which, you know, deals half the damage of Heart Piercer, but it's a guaranteed crit. So overall, I think you're expecting to, you know, gain damage from that. We probably don't need to gain Wrath in that case. Let's get another consumable out. All enemies lose accuracy until the battle ends. You know what? That seems good. All enemies can have negative 38 accuracy. I like it. I like it. I could also dump a few things in here for disintegration. Gain some experience. You know, it's worth 800, but I'd have to get rid of too, far too many things to level up. So I think we're just going to go with what we have. What we have is these four units. Let's go. Let's do it. Why not? We do have to do a fountain. We can either restore health or mana. It literally doesn't matter because everyone who needs healing is already in the mortuary. So I think we're good to go. Everyone has... These? Um, we, you know what, we did have um, Ectoplasm show up. Can we do anything with that for this this set of combat? No. I have rags? No one uses rags in this composition. I could do some more alchemy and try to build better parts. And then give people more, uh, more stat points and whatnot. Ah, we could. It's only gonna take a second. I think blood... Hearts and flesh is a big one. In fact, let's go for flesh. Flesh! Let's make some flesh. So we'll just uh, dump parts in here. Six percent chance of a purple. Ah, the smell of successful Got a green. alchemy. <laughs> Can I put a brain in here? I can't. What am I going to do with all these low-level brains? I have a lot of low-level brains. Brains! Brains! Oh! Regular old flesh. Hmm, regular old flesh. It's no gold, but it will do. Green. Regular. Oh, well, we got some more flesh. Green. Okay, now if we put four greens in here, or three greens in here, we have a 75% chance of getting green out. I don't understand the probabilities. They go down when you put worse things in there. Or they go up when you put worse things in there. It doesn't matter. Give me give me more flesh. No? No? You know what? F it. 16 and 8. 17 and 9. 57 and 14. 16 and 8. Let's do it. Green. Blue. Forty-five percent chance of base level. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. One day I'm gonna figure out like the best probabilities for those. Alright, you know what, F it. Whatever, let's just do the fight. I don't wanna put like blue stuff in there because I'd rather put uh better quality stuff in there, but whatever. Monster hunting is a pretty difficult job, chiefly due to the fact that the damn blighters are becoming quite rare in this day and age. The monster slayer has lived for so long that he has since switched to hunting more humanoid targets, as they are more plentiful and pay just as well. However, that does not mean that he's gotten rusty. 
Retirement may be just a hundred years away now, but until then you can cut up abominations with the best of them. And it turns out the switch from slaying living, breathing humans to the undead is not a particularly difficult one. To battle! It's weird that we get a lot What the fuck are these? Ha ha! It's weird that we get this, like, short dialogue of... <laughs> you know, this is the guy you're, you're going to be fighting, by the way. It's a little strange. What do you do? Source of magic, source of vigor, source of wrath. Aratus restores mana equal to 60% of the damage dealt to the source of magic. All minions restore vigor equal to 60%. Aratus restores wrath equal to 60%. So... This monster slayer is going to be really freaking tough. We're going to use these strategically to recover during the fight. And that's what it is. Okay. Now, we're definitely not going to make these things go insane, but our skeleton might be able to make this guy go insane. Recovers vigor equal to 75% of the damage dealt cannot be removed. Um, that was not his free act. That was not a free action. Though. That was just his action. He gets one action at the start of every combat because of his, his initiative is 25 Performs an additional action after each minion turn. Ah ha! Ignition, curse, and spider venom effects trigger only in main turn. Okay. So we get one action, he gets an action. We get an action, he gets an action. This guy's gonna be tough. Also, happy meal. We're not gonna be able to eat anything, so wrath is not gonna be useful there. Well, I think we need to knock out your block. I will admit. AoE seems very good here. Like, the AoE crit will give us 60% of the damage, 60% of the damage, and 60% of the damage as mana, vigor, and wrath. That seems quite effective, doesn't it? So what we might want to do is just have the Bride buff for a couple of turns, and then her AoEs are just going to do, like, insane damage. We could buff someone for three turns. It does seem pretty good. Your attack can hit the back line. I'm going to buff you, because you need to be able to punch through his armor, and you can do it in one, t one shot, basically. So he's going to attack as soon as we do this buff. What's his attack? He attacked twice in that action. And then he moved forward. I think the AoE crits are going to kick ass once we can buff her up enough. I think I should spend a turn buffing her and then give her a buff from the ghoul on the next turn. And then she'll have an action. So he attacked and missed again. His accuracy is pretty low and we put in some stuff that will make his accuracy kind of even worse. Let's see if we can make him go insane. He did not go insane, but the stress damage gave us stuff back immediately. So actually, this is a heal. It's a heal, it's a it's a wrath gain, and it's a mana gain, this creepy clank. Very interesting. It counts stress and physical damage, and probably magical damage is the same, these stones. Okay. Hey, Brudgerman, welcome back. You've jumped in the middle of this and you have no idea what's going on. If you've ever seen Darkest Dungeon, same thing. We're on the left, enemies are, are on the right, and we have minions with different abilities, and we're fighting a boss right now. The Monster Slayer! Okay, you have to punch through his block protection. I'm not going to use... I mean, I really should use an ability, shouldn't I? Because if I use an ability right now, we'll just gain the mana back very shortly. So... What is the best ability to use? Target minion loses luck and gains attack and dread. I'd rather not. Deals damage. You know what we could do? We could just use our attack twice on him. Um, what is it? Hail of Teeth? Or what if we what if we lower his crit chance? It's not gonna it's not gonna apply on this turn. So we should Hail of Teeth right now. It gets rid of his block, and next turn we'll lower his luck. And in fact, if we lower his luck enough, negative luck turns into higher crit chance. 
Negative luck on the target increases the luck of the attacker. So if we apply this like three times, every shot's gonna crit against this guy. So we should do that. Which means we don't need to use the wrath ability from our our heavy hitter. Our, uh, well, not really heavy hitter. Could put a trap down, or damp here. If we put a trap down, he can't move. I don't really care if he's at the front or at the back. Admit it, honestly. Maybe we should see what he does with his, um, his ability to maneuver and move around. I think we should debuff him just to see what happens. Them, no. We also crit him twice on that. Magic spell, you missed and we warded. That's why we have those wards. Okay. He removed his de removes debuffs at the start of turn. Every successful attack removes all buffs from the target. Ah, this is gonna suck if he hits the the unit who we're, we're stacking the buffs up on. But what we can do is now lower his luck. Crimson hunger. Although it didn't apply, it hit Ward. It's a lurking magic attack. But also. He would just remove his debuffs eventually anyways. He can't, I mean, he's a boss, you can't really debuff him that much, I guess. Unfortunate. I think what we should do is either buff a minion, which we cannot do, or just smack the crap out of him with a crit. We could use um, Creepy Clank and just buff ourselves again for the turn. I'd really like... There's no point, right? Like, his, his oil... It's going to remove buffs on us, so buffing a unit doesn't really do that much for us. We should probably just Creepy Clank in order to gain everything back. We're at 6333. So 6333, we're at 77, like 46, and then he hit us. Physical damage reduced by 20%. Eh, who cares? You should. You should still buff her, because if the buff lasts, it's going to be a very nice crit. Yeah, who cares? You missed. You suck. Because now we can crit. It's going to do a lot of damage. We're going to get a massive, like, gain from this, because we're at 77.57. Now we're at 166. We actually gained Wrath using her, her crit. <laughs> so... Every turn, basically, we should just be using AoEs to hit everything that we can. I think I'm also going to put traps down. Because... Did that even work? It did work. Because as he moves up and down, things are going to be moving around. Like, he moves constantly. So boom, we gained whatever we got from this one, health. So we should put traps down, and we should do AoEs basically every turn. Understood. I think we should also Reign of Gore, because that debuff is going to last for a while. Should we even go for a hit? I think we should go for a hit. You will soon embrace your new good existence. Crit. Did it remove debuffs? It did. He put the same oil on it. didn't check. I should have. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think I should just buff her, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use one of her actions for that because that's one permanent action down um, on a unit who I want to AOE hit. And dude, that trap, it's doing a good job. The crit, it's gonna do a good job here. Yeah, we basically recover everything every turn with her. So I, I can see what's going on here. I can see that having AoE and traps is super helpful against this guy. I'm kind of glad I brought along the units that I did. I also admit that I would love to have had... I, I would love to have had the other trap, the one that lasts for an additional turn. But really, there, there's no other action I want her to take that isn't just put down traps. Because watch this. If he moves forward, we heal. If he moves backwards, we heal. Everything that he does is a heal because of the position of this green uh, health recovery one in the middle. I mean, if he doesn't move, we don't get anything from it. But if he moved, we got something from it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, 
I like it. I like it. Hello, x 2 Dirty X. Found you on YouTube, and I like most of the games you play. Figured I would shoot you a hello. Let's see if I can see you live. Well, hello, and welcome. What are we going to do here? I think we should do the same thing we did last time. Reign of Gore, because we gain our mana back every single turn, and then I think we should just smack the crap out of this guy. I don't even think we should worry about buffing, because it's clear that the attack from our our bride is going to be enough. And I don't even think we we attack with the AoE from the skeleton. We just, we just hit him because, again, the crit is going to give us so much back. We crit for 80 damage, which means we heal for, like, 50 every turn. That's pretty good. <laughs> and this guy has no armor. He has a buff, apparently. Oil of Blade does count as a buff. We got hit with a debuff. Magical damage reduced by 20%, but it doesn't matter because, hey, look at this. Still be enough left to Nearly a full heal on everyone. We're at 100 mana, 100 wrath. And oh, I forgot about you. You have the. Uh, you have the buffs. Every time you get hit, you gain a buff, and that's your. That's like a, a feature ability plus that trinket we have on you. So we're gonna put down another trap. Really should have had these last for three turns, it would have been much more helpful in this fight, but it would, like this this is not a problem. I think I've accidentally stumbled into like the perfect set of units to have against this guy. Like he's he's toast. We're taking half we're taking like a, a quarter of his health every single turn. I could AoE you if I really wanted to. In fact, why not? It's a heal for 16. Not as good as the As the uh, the bride, I'll take it. Might even be able to kill you on this. Nearly. Doesn't matter what you do though, because you're not actually critting for like a hundred damage, and uh, you're dead. No, that's gonna leave a mark. And we we healed basically to full. Okay, you're not dead. You have 18 health. You might as well be dead. And um, I mean, we could hit one of those. Let's just hit you and kill you. That was that was insanely easy. Mop up the gore. Them just giving you I the ability to, to heal the full every action is is crazy. Yeah. And we did get purple rags. Minions made up of four uncommon parts or more gain twenty health. Okay. We got his token. At the start of battle, damage increases damage dealt by 0.1% for each available part in the chamber of Aratus, the glutton's tongue. Well, I wish I was not spending all of them trying to get purples now, but oh well. Okay, <laughs> easy. <laughs> we gain another part, doesn't matter. Let's go to the next floor. Buried just beneath the surface of the catacombs, the dark secret of the order. Here they train mages so that they can conduct sinister and dangerous experiments. Magic. It was always meant to stay a secret, but recent necromancer troubles have let knowledge of this place slip into the public. Making matters worse that the mages were never expect expecting an attack from below, let it known that the attacker would be undead. The Grand Magister made his judgment. Instead of standing with the sorcerers, he sealed their tunnels and called back his paladins to the highest level in order to prepare a defense. The spellcaster would fend for themselves in the face of Aratus, where they will either prevail or buy the Grand Magister some time to muster his veteran knights for a decisive battle against the forces of liberated evil. So the first three floors were physical, 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 heavy magical. Okay, we're going to have to pivot in our defenses then because we're going to be fighting a lot of mages, it seems like. Oh my god. And a lady. Mages and a weird lady. This game's UI looks similar to Darkest Dungeon. It plays like Darkest Dungeon. You have four units on the left. Position matters. Um, you can only hit an enemy if uh, if they're in a position where your attacks can hit, etc., etc. But it has more mechanics built on top of it, like the fact that we have abilities 
talent points for our necromancer evil dude. And we can basically cast one spell every turn. Brain. We don't need brain. Don't need that. Additional one part. I want this. I want minions gain eight health. It's going to be a while until we can get it. Understood. I think we should continue to make people insane. I think we should also go back to the spirit now chain mail. I will make mortals tremble before no, I will make the mortals tremble before me. <laughs> And I think we should... Ah, we can gain evasion, which means that it's just less likely for us to take damage. Enemies have evasion, but we have pretty high hit chances. I don't know, we'll give it a shot. So I have no idea what to expect on this upcoming fight. However, I will say that our... Well, we should probably up the re magic resistance. I will say that our units are probably capable of dealing with it. Hold on, what can we put on you? Any purples? No purples. I would love to make a purple flesh, though. I'm, I'm still tempted to, to alchemy it up and see if I can't make purple flesh. Uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. Uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. Or at the very least, just get, you know, better parts. And eventually, maybe one day, Get what we need. It's no goal, but it will do. Bony up in the sky. What do we got? What do we? Got? We did get purple flesh. Let's go. The nom nom nomicon is gonna get an upgrade, I think. What's your ability? Ignore block. Target loses block. Eh, Bound Hades will get this ability. He also needs to upgrade. Um. Give me a higher crit chance. I'm not really using the uh, the heal, but if we need it, we don't really need wrath gain. It's nice to have the option, but let's go for that. Right, you are gonna have a purple flesh. You already have a purple blood, but if I could make a, a full purple unit, I would be very happy about that. So you're gonna take the flesh. You have 18 points. You're gonna take a point of ward because we're gonna be fighting a lot of magic damage. It feels like. And then I might even save it to get one physical block as well. Just just to make sure we have it. Which would be very nice. And do we have a purple heart? We have purple ectoplasm and rags. This, you know, set of units don't actually use rags. So we're not going to give them any purples. That's fine. All right, let's, uh, let's go to the next combat. Uh, yeah, we're good. Our first... Look at the Zealot from StarCraft. When combining parts, be more likely to get you what you're looking for. Instead of rolling for a random from three. I'm not rolling a random. What you, what you do is you select what you want here, and then any three parts will, will fit it. I could put in armor, dust, and bones, and then the percentages are not dependent on the type of item you put in. It's dependent on the quality of that item that gets put in. But the weird part is that the quality doesn't really make a lot of sense because three greens gives you 75, 16, and 8% chance of green, blue, and purple. But if I replace one of them with a white, the chance of a green goes down and the chance of a blue and a purple goes up, which is a little weird. Um, I guess it's just the game either encouraging experimentation or just not know, knowing what the hell it's doing. Because, like, I put in white bones and the probability of a good thing goes up. It's very strange. I don't quite get it. I don't need to get it. I need to punch things. Let's go punch things. My life for fire. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Zealot. Living armor, spell thief. Living armor, spell thief. Let's take a look. They have one block and one ward. They cannot go insane! Oh, lovely. And the Spell Thief, who has 22 magic resistance. So we can at least make him go insane, but these armors have a lot of physical 
damage reduction. We can still make their damage reduction zero with an attack from the uh, the lady in the back, so we're just gonna wait on this. Uh, we are gonna try to make you go insane. Unlucky. That's still worth a turn, I think. You hit three times, but your accuracy is, is not great. I mean, it's 105, that's pretty good accuracy. You've got lunch break though. Your dodge is is 51%. <laughs> it's pretty good. I think you are going to wait. I think I'm gonna. Now I'm just gonna hit this guy in the back. Ooh, I hope that That's 106 damage crit. Thank eight. you very much. Yeah, Verdi. They um the alchemy is different. It, in early access, it used to be you could just put like two or three parts to get a higher quality one. Now it's random, which is just kind of annoying, but you know, well. Okay, let's get rid of your protection. You might be able to like, re to like clear your, your debuff, but honestly, it doesn't matter. 94. I think I'm gonna, do this. And I should be able to just kill you with the ghoul immediately. Maybe we shouldn't do that though, hold up. She has nine stacks of spirit chain mail. I would like someone else to get the kill now that I think about it. And the spell thief moves last. We can always snipe him with the uh, the bride. Look at me actually like min-maxing. <laughs> she does have st seven stacks, but still. I would like to have someone else get the kill. We could have the Skeleton get the kill, except he's he can't be buffed. We can upgrade him with a uh, ability that lets him get, uh, receive buffs, but I honestly just forgot where that was. I could also use a spell. Let's use a spell. Right, feature. Plus 50% attack until the end of battle each time Aratus casts a spell. Well, I wish... <laughs> I wish I had figured that out ahead of time. We should probably hit him now and kill him. Thank you. Now there's only one of them. So I'm gonna try to let the skeleton get the kill on this guy. He literally can't. I mean, she can get the kill. Do you need a Do you need a stack of spirit chainmail? You're at two. Yeah, you can take it, unless you crit. You know, the two attacks may have been better, more chances of critting, but this is still fine. I also think maybe you should just go up. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something And if this guy likes to attack the front line, which he doesn't, I was gonna say we could use her to just enter stance, but whatever. So you have protections. Unfortunately, I, the only thing I could do is just knock out your block. So what I'm gonna do is just buff you for one turn. It's a little silly, but it makes sense to me. Cause now we can just Wait. You can block. You can wait. You can punch through. To the other side! Perish. He's debuffed. Nice. And Skeleton is going to live. And now we can do our attacks. Our massive damage dealing attacks. Luckily this guy is super slow is, uh, initiative is six. Even my skeleton has a higher initiative than that. Skeleton's initiative is 10. It's pretty good. And the skeleton can get a kill. Feature, increase the damage dealt by 50%. Smite the show off, skeleton. Get a stack of, of spirit chain metal so buff. this world will be mine. We got his token. We can take a look at his abilities in a little bit more detail. We also got 12 souls, 32 mana back, 1400 experiments, which is experience, which is kind of an arbitrary number. Also, something I forgot to do. Where is my HP gain ability? It's, it's around here somewhere. Um, you, was it you, was it you? There is my HP gain ability. I'm one, talent point away from getting it. Maybe we don't need it, maybe we should go for like a max level ire. At 100 wrath, 36 spell power, or all units can recover to full. 
Yeah. Possible. In any case, let's put you in for healing. Put you guys in there just because you are awful. And let's take a look at where we're going. Where do we want to go? Left, middle, or right? Well, are there any quests we can do? There's actually none on the left, but there's two on the right. So if we go left, we can then pivot back to the right side. Although, we could hit up this quest by going this path, like going right, bouncing left, and then going all the way back here to the right to hit this quest. It, it's a lot of events, but I kind of like a lot of events. <laughs> do, 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 do. Select one. All minions gain attack and dread. Minions gain 5 initiative but lose 15 accuracy. Seems bad. Minions gain ooh, 8 luck, 8 accuracy, and 8 evasion. That's pretty good. It replaces the robe we have right now, which is enemies lose 18 accuracy. This also replaces the spirit chainmail, which is minions gain 2 health. It's very good, though. It's very good. But this being able to be... You know what? No, we have something better than this. We have one that is um, minions gain six attack. We don't need... Who cares about this? Two attack, two dread? A dark collection. We'll take that because it is just like insanely good, which means that if we don't want it, we can always just munch it for 1,600 experience. But it's very good. I don't know what's better. Is it better to have enemies lose accuracy or you gain luck, accuracy, and evasion. Effectively, it's enemies lose 8 accuracy instead of 18, because you gain the evasion, along with gaining luck and accuracy itself. I don't know. We have a lot of good um, robes, except for this one, which is garbage. Everything else is decent. I like what we got. I like what we got. And instead of this, let's take, um, take a different necklace. Radis gains 24 wrath. We can use some of our abilities a little bit more. Features, or, no? all minions gain ward. You know what? Because we're having so much, like, magical stuff on this floor, ward, for free, seems pretty good. I like it. Excellent. Yeah, that one ward paid off on the last round, which means that I think more ward is going to be better. Who the hell are we going to take out on this mission? I don't know. You want to bring out the zombie? We've, like, hardly ever used them, but they're not that good. They are not that good at all. They're good at getting through wards and getting through block. Maybe we take them. Sure, let's take a zombie. It's been forever since I have taken a zombie. Now... Less wrath and more damage, or it turns into a mass stress attack. Target loses luck, accuracy, and evasion for two turns. Give me the more, or sorry, give me the uh, the cheaper cost one. Now, also improves your. You know, zombies are pretty resistant to magical damage. Maybe that's acceptable. You think? Should also give you another, or you, we should give you rather an ability. Like, stripping armor and resistance? That actually seems kind of nice, because you do have an ability that ignores armor. Stripping it from three minions, possibly, could be very effective. And you could also just, you know, have a single target ability if, if you really want a, a good chance of stripping it. Maybe the zombie is the one who needs the acid gland. Minions attacks restore damage dealt as wrath, boiling blood, immune to debuffs, can't miss, that's also another good one, can't be moved, a very, very small setting enemies on fire with abilities, restore health, you do take a lot of damage, reduces physical damage received, increases magical damage received, curses enemies every turn. This seems like we just want to put this on the mummy, because they have an ability where you restore health for each curse on an enemy. Being able to curse enemies with 
like the hex beam or something, put a lot of curses on on minions, will mean that you get a lot of healing back. Especially if you can also curse them with this attack. Wait, is it a curse? Don't you have a curse? You do, this one here. Curse the target for four turns. So you can curse a minion and maybe stack another stack of curse, which turns into more healing. I think this is definitely something that you just want on the mummy because they, they are the unit who you want cursing the most, or at the very least getting the value from it. And maybe you could turn them into a cursing unit. Possibly. Every minion's successful ability, the enemy loses blank. Nah, give me the, give me the thing. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. 